Southwest Round Up in 2007. Um, I'm based on the peninsula and the water from the peninsula and further up and around um, the south, um, south east Devon area and up into the moors. On the Brixton Stoke Gable and Kingsway Peninsula, there continue to be sightings of large black coloured panther type cats of varying sizes. And don't know exactly how many there were, but I'm just talking them in complete. Um, the areas in which they were seen were Gramercy grounds, in and around the outskirts of the main grounds, and also southerly towards Hillhead and nearby Ecladican Copse. Also, there was continued activity in and around the coastal areas towards Coldham Fishacre and Skelton, where there have been frequent sightings and activity over the years. At Brownstone Farm in the spring of last year, uh, one of the stagecoach bus drivers saw what he described as a leopard whilst answering the call of nature. This was he described as thankfully at a reasonable dis dis distance for him to make a quick getaway if needed. Oakham Hill and Longwood, bordering the east side of the River Dart, also had its sightings of both a brown coloured large type cat and also a large black leopard that seemed to be keeping very low and moving down on its haunches very slowly forward. As with both these occurrences, they reached us too late for us to actually check out the areas at the time. So hopefully they might have been still around the vicinity. Nevertheless, we did search the land, but found nothing to suggest any evidence of the cats. The areas around Berry Pomeroy Castle and other close areas of Hippelhead, Maldon and Compton, which are west of Paynton and southwest of New Clavet, continued with the large black leopard sightings. This area in the past has been a hotbed of activity. We're still trying to get the evidence, not just from people saying. We are trying to get permission from the people at Berry Pomeroy Castle to have a permanent eye on the land that overlooks the valley underneath it which in our persuasion of the friends could also easily double up as a bird watching in nature hide. Also north of the castle, at both Denbury and East Bogwell, there was even more large black leopard sightings, which I think hopefully is pointed towards the area being part of the travel through the area, area southward towards the Brixton Peninsula. These sightings continued periodically through the year, but started to die away in late September and early November in any frequency as they, as they have been seen through the year. The Dartmoor and surrounding areas. The Teen Valley had three possible probable black leopard sightings over the year, two in the spring and one in late summer, and these were all on the north and east side of the valley. To the south and west through the year, there were reports of both brown and grey plumes in and around the area and of varying sizes. These areas that also cover the whole Hill area have had plumes sightings for many years. One of the Darton forestry workers told me in the late 80s that his team frequently had seen two grey coloured plumes, which may well have contributed to what we may have there today. West towards Denbury and also across towards Bobby Tracy, they also had both possible pumas and also big black cats travelling to and from these areas over the course of spring, summer and autumn of 2007. On the northeast side of Dartmoor, around Drew Stainton, Dunsford and Eastern, um, Eaton, I think it was, not Eastern, apologies. There was a Pilma seen crossing the friend's drive early one morning as she drove down towards the gate and moved from right to left and disappeared very quickly. But she was adamant what she saw. This was in the same year, area as Rachel Shears had almost the same encounter a year or so before. And this woman 
what she called an immature human from science. The local people have continued to open up to a colleague, Ian Newton, about the link sighting in and around Merchington and Sony Park area. There has recently been another link sighting close to here, and the witnesses said it looked like a new Eurasian lynx from the greyish coloration of the animal. And we've got Ian Newton and people in the area and continuing to monitor the area and hopefully go in the forestry area and see if we can find any birds. In the throes of living home from Drew State, um, yeah, in the throes of living home from Drew State to Oak County just over a year ago in 2007, both Rachel Shears and Ian Newton both saw two different cats crossing the back roads between the two locations. Both were positive in the fact that they could not determine what species or type of cat they had actually seen. <coughs> All they could describe their cat was some sort of hybrid or crossbreed. Both cats were seen with those days. I received a call about the middle last year about a large black cat looking very wet and be dragged crossing the road near Lincoln Down and moving towards what the lady thought was Bobby and Merchington. Two days later, there was a similar cat seen near where the miniature pony centre is. And also, not long after that, there was again a similar sighting of the same looking cat seen near Burnworthy. I contacted a colleague and also they, in the next week or so, also saw what they had described as something resembling a leopard, but much smaller and not looking in the best of condition. They saw the cat as it crossed the track, just a little, way, a little way in front of them. They were in a four-wheel drive at the time, they got their keys to the um, area around Fernworthy. And um, they had a hide there, which in high winds had blown down, and they're constantly going in to do um, photography and filming work. After that, they just arrived there to do something in the area, and that's why I'm certain what I just did. Ian also told me that the rangers knew that the cats were in the firm one of the area, and also almost played the situation down as if they just needed confirmation to the fact of another body or person to verify what was happening. In addition to black cats in the area, there's also been frequent sighting of caribou in the same area. This was confirmed by a witness who told Ian and Rachel she had seen a caribou chasing prey close by, which was a young sheep. Um, and she didn't hang around to say whether the caribou or the sheep or not. But that was through not a direct person telling the information came through a couple of people. On the west side of the moors, there was a report of possible people and large black cats in and around the Rotary Reservoir area. This was in the early part of 2007 and also in the early summer. Also close to this area, a large black cat was seen crossing the road close to the A30 at Broadwood and this was in July of 2007. A friend who lives on the outskirts of Buckfrontley told me that a dark coloured puma has been seen frequently over the year. He reckons it was, about, it was seen about four or five times by different people from around March to about September. And this cat has been seen around the Poundsgate, Home and Buckfast area. Uh, North East West Side, around Dunkerswell, Bolton Water, um, Sheldon and Leopard. There was also some humor sightings, grey in colour, one single sighting, and another with two cats at the same time, almost side by side, this time near to Kerswell. These came to me in the spring of 2007 by three different people, one of which is a driver for a tyre company. For a while, these sightings continued towards the Hinton area and then near to Langford. Unfortunately, not all these sightings came first hand and not always close to the time and place 
but never, nevertheless, I felt it was still full information. The Northern Dark Morning. There was a report of a large black, black cat seen near Orwell and Satellite, very close to the Mole River. This is where in the previous year that two Puma were seen running together, which was also confirmed and verified for me by a colleague in North Devon, which is Ian Newton. This sighting was in August 2007. Also, a large brown flat seen near Chicklehampton running northwest in a field just outside of Chamberlain. Lee. Also, this came to me through different sources before it eventually got to me. I was told also there had been a puma in the immediate area for about two to three years. And Ian is monitoring that area and he can go back and he had made contact with somebody who lives and works in the area. And so well, hopefully when we, if we get some more information, it's going to be quick enough for us to respond, or Ian to respond, because he'll be able to get there quicker than anybody else can. I was told that it had been a puma in the immediate area for about two to three years. Well, through the years past there, there have been other sightings of puma and such like cats close to the Rosh Pine area. The South Hounds are further south and this is the last page of the thing for Large panther, black panther, and little white cats were also seen in Harbiton Ford in the South Hounds and again at Avonwick. And in the early months of 2007, and close to Dipfish and North Hewish, they have had frequent sightings over the years and may well be part of a territory trail that leads southwards towards Woodley and Loddersville, which is close to East Abington, where there have been also been previous sightings of both black and brown large cats. In August of 2007, a large black cat was seen near the Upper Plin, Plin Valley, which was near to Valtrell Reservoir, um, slightly south east, I think, of the Valley. The information came to me from the colleagues I used to work with in the South Hounds, but this site is not far north from what is now the Dartmoor Zoo Park, and that is the 2007 report. Uh, if anybody wants to ask any questions, I'm going to answer. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.